Hey guys, um, congratulations. Give us the update. What, where, what have you guys been up to for the last uh, 13 years? Well, we've been busy nonstop working. The band has become our uh, shitty day job. And we all we do is uh, write albums, record them, and tour. Great. That's what we've been, that's what we've been doing. Did the movie um, help to kind of elevate uh, the the kind of the, the the popularity side of the band? Absolutely, contributed to a major rise. Yes. How often are you guys touring? All the time. Um, well, besides the COVID thing, we were touring all the time. Every year, we come to America once a year. We go to Europe once a year. Go to Canada. We go everywhere once a year. Not to China. It's been quite a few years since we've been there. <laughs> and and how big are the crowds you're getting these days? It varies. It varies. What's the What's the biggest crowd you get? You've gotten recently? What's the biggest crowd? Last night. Last yeah, night. Yeah, I say a thousand people. Yeah. Depends, it depends where. Like last night we played to uh, twelve hundred people. Twelve hundred people. Sometimes we'll play to 20 people. It depends on what, what kind of job yeah. the promoter did telling people that we're there. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you still independent or are you we're with a label now? What what's what's your status? We're with a label. But currently German label AFM Records. We have one more album contractually with them. Yeah, we're just carrying on our careers quite nicely. You know, it's been uh, the band has become our shitty day job. We love it. All we do is rock when we can. The, the, what more can you say? Uh, so take me back a little bit to making that movie and, um, you know, kind of where you were when you were making that. Um, you know, you were bummed out that you weren't getting the recognition that you deserved. And... Mm -hmm. It's kind of a strange situation because you know you had been this the hot young things and it kind of didn't work out as you'd expected. What did you attribute that to? Uh, you know, bad managers, shitty record companies, being young, making some fucking dumb decisions. You know, like what were Should the what were the dumb decisions that that choosing the big rock star rock star style management over the guy who's down and up and coming and down in the trenches really doing it that, that that's the mistake yeah you know you go, you go with a, a big name the guy who's managing aerosmith ted dugent and scorpions and meanwhile the guy who's just up and coming and manages anthrax and is trying to get them a record deal you're you're passing on him and meanwhile there was your ticket and then that's real simple <laughs> and then there's the greed the real simple greed we were signed to uh, an independent label in Canada, and when when the big time manager that I was referring to went and took our catalog to <clears throat> to the labels, they said, "Oh, what a lovely band! They're from Canada. We'll be glad to sign them as long as they give us the first three albums for free." <laughs> oh, that's that's a great deal. In other words, we're going to give you basically close to a half a million dollars and now you're going to help us out we're going to give you you're not going to give us anything but you, we're going to give you right that's called uh, that's called greed then of course what, what that did is that put us pulled us out of the out of the the contributing uh, contributing being assigned to a label we were pulled out of our original record label the canadian label that it been been looking after us up to that point to nothing for four years why am i going to blame the band when it's not the band it's the, the people that are around us that fucking derailed us you know yeah. what i mean there could be could have been a lawsuit against that big time manager for having done that because he pulled us out of our original record deal and left us flat for four years that's pretty serious that's a pretty serious thing to have done to a band. But how do you prove your damages? Well, you can't even begin to quantify what that meant, what that could have meant. It strangled our, our, our opportunity at, at the time. That's what happened to Anvil. But how can you fix it? 
How do you fix it? You keep going. That's how we fixed it. We kept going until someone from our past grew up and became someone important and made a movie about us. And voila, here we are. Mm -hmm. Do you think you were punished in a way for being Canadian? That's, uh, I don't know if I would define it like that. No. Listen, uh, rock and roll is a vicious game. Yeah. That's it. And that's the bottom line. Okay? It's, it's all about money. And it's all about business. It's all it, it, people and personal stuff. And it can't really, and, and it's not territorial either. Mm -hmm. There are assholes everywhere. There's no, <laughs> there's no, there's no borders on that. Okay. <laughs> that's true. There are assholes everywhere. <laughs> But the yeah. thing, you know, I mean, the thing that's so wonderful about the movie is the thing that sustained you is you just loved what you were doing. You loved the music. You love. Like, still do, and, and, and really? the motive. The motive is not to make millions and millions of dollars. The motive is to make lots of music. Lots of music. That's the guy who wins. The guy who writes and records the most albums. That's the guy who wins. It's not the guy who sells the most. Yeah, because the guy who sells the most could be a one-hit wonder, and his his whole career was two years long. I'm I've done forty five years. I'm gonna have twenty albums out. I've done real good. That's success. And any and and and, and people can try to add it up in any way you can. Having having record deals and be able to put, being to able to put music out. For a lifetime is success. Yeah. Anyway, it's like no matter how much money you made or didn't made or didn't make, it's a, it's actually irrelevant. The the fact that you've actually written and recorded and released twenty albums is un, un that, that there's a quantity there's there's a quantification of any there's there's a that, that's substantial that's a body of work that's that's a legacy. Probably going to be here a lot longer than I am. That's for sure. So, Lips, are you still using the dildo in the performances? <laughs> of course. Yeah, well, of course. It's, it's mandatory. <laughs> people would be people. People would be fucking disappointed, man. You know, people come to see them. You know, they, they hear the legend. They go, "He's going to play his guitar with this vibrator, man." You know, so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.